hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today in this video tutorial i'll show you how to make your own laser security system using lm741 ic which is an operational amplifier the reason behind selecting the lm741 is that it's easily available in any electronic shop actually for this project we needed a voltage comparator but no worries we can use the lm741 as the voltage comparator as we know that any operational amplifier can be used as a voltage comparator but the reverse may not apply this is going to be a complete project this will be divided into three parts the first part will cover the proteus simulation and programming the second part will cover the pcb designing etching and soldering and the third part will be about the practical implementation so this is the first part and today we will be covering the simulation and programming so if you didn't subscribe to my channel subscribe now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials so now let's start with the lm for one data sheet now this is the schematic symbol for the lm for one okay now this is the pin number one which is the offset null and the pin number five the offset null these two pins uh, we are not going to use these two pins uh, we will be using only the inverting input which is the pin number two the non-inverting input pin number three and pin number four which will be connected uh, with the negative voltage and the pin number seven is the supply voltage and pin number six is the output voltage so we have total of eight pins and out of eight pins we will be using the pin number two three four seven and six so now let's open the proteus and start the designing okay open proteus and click on pick from libraries button and write lm741 which is an operational amplifier as you can see in the description double click to add now we will also need an LGR which is the light dependent resistor as we are building uh, a security system so we will need LGR double click to add and uh, we will be needing some resistors so write resistor and double click so that's it for now click OK OK now click on the LM741 add it zoom a little bit and we need an LGR so and a power terminal plus 12 volt And let's check the maximum voltage that we can give to LM741. So that is for the LM741. I see that is 18 volt. Okay, so that is the power and plus 12 volt okay we also need ground and that is pin number four as you can see from the schematic symbol the pin number four is the ground and this is the supply voltage okay now we will need a resistor and let's connect this with the ground so now the LDR is connected in series with this resistor with a 10k resistor which makes a voltage divider now we will see how it works but first of all let's add a DC voltmeter and see 
how the voltage changes when the light is changed so click on play and now as I'm increasing the light you can see the voltage is also increasing why because the LDR is the the resistance actually varies with the amount of light falling on the LDR so when the maximum light falling on the LDR the resistance uh, is almost equal to 100 ohms so that's why all the voltages drop across the 10k so as I keep on increasing the light the voltage is dropped over here and when there is no light falling on the LDR so it offers about like uh, 10k resistance so the voltage increases or decreases with respect to the light falling on the LDR now we will need the reference voltage that will be continuously compared with the voltage coming from this voltage divider which will help us in detecting the laser light whether it is falling on the LDR or not so click on the component mode so we will also need a variable resistor for setting the reference voltage so variable okay and now this reference voltage can be changed by rotating the variable resistor knob and we also need terminals that is the power and plus 12 volts and a ground okay let's add another resistor just take the voltage at the output and uh, we need a DC voltmeter and let's add it over here this one and let's add another one over here with the reference voltage and connect this with the ground and now let's see how it works now click on the play now the output will be high when the non-inverting side is greater than the inverting side it means when the voltage on pin number three is greater than the voltage on pin number two so as you can see the voltage on pin number two is currently six volts and the voltage on pin number three is three volt so the pin number three is less than pin number two it means like the voltage on pin number three is less than uh, the voltage on pin number two so that's why the output is low which is 0.96 okay now as the voltage is increasing but still it's less than six volts it's four and still the output is low five and now as you can see it's now 6.09 which is greater than 6 volts and now the output is 10.9 so it means that the output is high as you, as, you, as you can see though it's low because the 5 is less than 6 and and now it's high so if I change the reference voltage now you can see you know it's uh, so it means using the reference voltage will help us also and adjusting the light intensity so this is a very nice circuit okay now is our aim is to signal the microcontroller but if you look at the output of the IC which is which is greater than 
5 volts and we cannot connect a wire from here uh, with the microcontroller so it means we have to add a, a transistor over here and uh, then signal the microcontroller so let's check 2 into 2 data sheets and uh, see whether we can connect that or not so open the 2 into 2 data sheets and let's check the base voltage as you can see the emitter base voltage is 5 volt and 6 volt maximum 6 volts and 5 volts so and and in the simulation we can see that the output is 10 so it means we cannot connect over uh, we cannot uh, connect a line from here to with the base so it means we have to make a voltage divider over here we have to add another resistor so let's add and see delete this wire add another resistor and so now connect this with the ground and change its value let's keep it 1k and now add a DC voltmeter so we have to keep the voltage below 5 volt okay when it's 10.9 uh, it's 0.99 so which is uh, more than enough for turning on the the transistor so that's fine okay so now let's add a transistor 2222 and a terminal ground okay and let's add a relay which will also provide isolation protection connect and a power you can also add a resistor over here uh, instead of the relay and then uh, we will give a 5 volt over here but the relay is the best choice because it provides isolation and protection if any short circuit uh, occurs over here it will not affect the microcontroller or the if the microcontroller is damaged it will not damage this one because there is no electrical connection it works on the magnetic field so this will be safe okay now let's see if it works So now as you can see it, the relay can be controlled great now how to connect this with the microcontroller let's add the Arduino you know Ground. and let's connect this with let's suppose pin number 4 and also let's add a virtual terminal 
the RXD is connected with TXD and the RXD with the TXD. Let's see if this Okay, now that our design is completed, now let's start the programming. Open the Arduino IDE. Okay, now let's uh, define pin integer laser is equal to four, which is connected with pin number four. And white setup and white loop let's activate the serial communication serial dot begin 9600 pin mode laser as input digital right laser as high we need a condition so f f digital f digital read laser is equal to is equal to low let's try it activated you you can write anything over here or oh, maybe you can write uh, intruder. Copy. Paste. And if it's high and right. no intruder and digital right lasers hi let's compile so we have this uh, hex file so if, if you can't see the hex file simply go to the file click on the preferences and check these two boxes and then when you compile you will get this link just copy copy this open and paste over here in the program file paste okay now let's play click as you can see there is no intruder and now let's very let's zoom a little bit so now there is intruder relay has changed its state